lowest setting is the most sensitive, the best protection, the fastest acting. And so offering the best protection, that's the way you would normally like to go. But if there were boundary conditions such as inrush current or perhaps other downstream devices, well, then you might not want to set it low. Let me show you what would happen if we had other downstream devices. Let's say that we had uh, maybe like a 20 amp circuit breaker. If we had a 20 amp circuit breaker, it had a thermal portion and an instantaneous portion like this. Here's the problem. This is another trick in coordination, a, a, a point that's sometimes overlooked. You might look at this and think, oh, we have a, a smaller downstream device, like a, maybe like a 20 amp circuit breaker. And your goal is just to set the 225 amp breaker. So you look at this and think, oh, well, if I set it high, I might bump into the fuse. If I set medium, looks like that'll work. It also looks like I could probably set it low. And Jim said that lower gives you better protection, and it looks like that would also coordinate, so I think I'll just set it low. You usually don't want to do that, and here's why. One of the key points, one of the key things to look at is to look down at the instantaneousness and watch what happens here. And this is very critical. This is one of the most important parts of coordination. If you look down at the instantaneousness, if this curve on the left was a 20 amp circuit breaker and this one in the middle was the 225 amp breaker, setting it at the medium setting coordinates with the upstream fuse, which is important. But if you decide, well, I'm going to go ahead and set it lower for even better protection, What's going to happen with the coordination? Where is the miscoordination going to begin if you move this setting lower? What's going to happen right now? The miscoordination begins where the 225 starts to overlap with the smaller downstream breaker. If you decide to set the 225 amp device even lower, then the miscoordination is going to start for even lower magnitudes of current. And you haven't really gained anything with the fuse. You haven't gained anything anywhere. In fact, what you've done is you've given up coordination by setting this even lower. So when you're looking at overcurrent devices, a lot of people become preoccupied by looking at the upper part of the time current curve, where you have a lot of space. And although that's important, one of the most critical areas to look at is the very bottom of the graph, to look at the currents where the instantaneouses begin to overlap and, and try to minimize the ranges of currents where you have miscoordination, where they're overlapping, and to try to maximize the ranges of currents where you do have good coordination. So by using this middle setting, we've coordinated with the fuse, and we've achieved the greatest coordination that we possibly can with any downstream devices. Is it perfect? No, it's, it's not perfect. If you have a high enough short circuit, you'll trip the 225 amp breaker and also the smaller downstream breaker. And if you have a really high short circuit, it's possible you'll blow the fuse and the 225 amp breaker and the smaller downstream breaker. So the real action for the coordination occurs down at the bottom of the graph.